This is the master bedroom. We're looking at the back wall and you can see that the gap again is larger at the top than it is at the bottom. But again, the more pressing problem, when I move around to the side, the wall on the left side is sticking out about an inch more at the top than it is at the bottom. This is the master bedroom. We're looking at the doorway going into the hallway and we have a larger gap at the top than we do at the bottom. But the bigger problem is that the wall in the bedroom does not line up with the wall in the kitchen. You can see the gap here between the wall of the bedroom and the uh, wall door casing. This is the ceiling in the master bedroom and we're looking at the gap at the ceiling compared the two halves. The half that I'm in is about one inch higher at the ceiling on the left side than it is on the right side. The door going into the master bedroom is obviously a different color. Also the two doors don't close evenly. One is sticking further out than the other. There are scratch marks in the ceiling that look like hand swipes when the plaster was wet. This is the oh, master bedroom and you can yeah. see that the window is about in the middle of the wall instead of closer to a corner. This is one of the other bedrooms and again you can see that the window is in the middle of the wall. This is the other bedroom and again you can see that the window is in the middle of the wall. This is the wall on the left side of the opening from the living room going into the kitchen. You can see that the overlap at the top is about an inch and a half compared to the bottom. This is the corner coming into the front door. You can see that the wall board is pulled away in both directions. The cabinets in the kitchen are finished on the underside beside the stove but on the other side, next to the sink, the cabinets are not finished underside. Also, the cabinet under, the underside of the cabinet over the refrigerator is not finished. The inside of the porch is painted a different color. The left side of the front porch is about one inch lower closer to the front of the house than it is closer to the front door. The plywood on the left side goes all the way to the post. The plywood on the right side stops about two inches from the end. At the front of the house there is insulation on the right half but on the left half there is none and there is a board of particle board installed on the bottom of the left half which is protruding out from the particle board behind it and the 
right side of the house. You can see from this video that the two halves of the house are lined up at the top. We will compare this to the back of the house. Here you can see the opening at the top of the back of the house. And then when I move around to the left side, you can see that the left side is extending back away from the front of the house more than the left the right side is. Here's another view showing the left side moves back from the front of the house about an inch compared to the right side. 